welcome back. So I'm really not in love with the idea of having a constructor with a specific set of properties, right? Um, it, it makes sense sometimes if you really need to force the user into having exactly four properties, but sometimes you want to create a car where you only want three properties. So how could we actually do that? Um, let's just kill the constructor again. I'm going in here and I'm just going to remove the constructor. So notice that if there is no constructor inside your system, automatically your class will actually have the constructor I'm showing right here. So a very, very basic constructor. Let me just remove this guy. I have no constructor now at all, but I can still actually generate a car. So let's just do it the other way. Right now, I'll do a different way than the first thing. So when you create a car, if you add the curly brackets in the end right here, you can actually start looking what's what properties are available in this car. So when I control and space, I'll get intelligence to tell me what could be put in here. And here I can actually say, well, color could be equal red, right? Um, oh, I did it wrong, I did it wrong. You need to do a comma, a comma, there we go. And then I can space again, I can say license number should be, let's do a 333, a comma, and I'll do a space again, control space. The make should be uh, Toyota. I'll do a comma and the year should be um, 2001. There we go. So this is another way of generating the car, right? So that's just another constructor type. But notice the cool thing here is I can decide I do not want the license number when I create it. I can also say I do want it, right? I do not want the make when I create this car. I also decide I do want it, right? So this gives you the opportunity to not be forced where with the constructor I had to put in four values because you told me to. Again, it's depending on the software you're building if you want the one or the other. If you want to do some strict constructors that make sense in some cases, I'm more into the more loose way here where I can just say, well, I only want to add these guys to the system. So that's how you can also generate new classes in C Sharp. Next time we'll have a look at the two-string method just to show you another way to print out all of this beautiful information. See you in the next lesson.